I mean, when I started, I never thought that I would be able to uh, really get a grasp on it. And now I really feel like I'm getting used to it. I can understand most of the terminology, and yeah, it does make me feel very good. To be a minister, the patient with a radioactive uh, pharmaceutical, and then we take pictures of the radioactivity and where it's gone. To be honest with you, I can't remember my first day. It was just, there was so much going on, so much information to take in. And I think the first week was probably a blur. I did want to go to university, but I felt like I couldn't afford to. Marshalls in Cambridge is, has an airport, and I um, went through their recruitment um, services to become an aerospace engineer. I thought when I started that it would be a very sort of like problem solving job, but really what it was was you were told what to do and then you'd have to make the part and fix it. My dad's a mechanic, so he was extremely impressed that I got an engineering job. Um, and for me to uh, kind of jack that in to become a delivery driver, he was less than impressed, I'll, have, I'll be honest. I felt quite low about myself and I felt like I could do more, so I really wanted to push myself. So I um, just happened to look back over what I'd been doing at, at sixth form and found the nuclear medicine job trainee on the Adam Brooks website. So I applied, not really believing that I would get it, I thought it was a bit of a long shot. Went to the interview and then got offered the job a week later. The most important thing about work to me is to do something worthwhile, to help people um, and to use your brain, you know, challenge yourself.